Hey, Bill, we just, uh, Hello? We just called in, and now he's logging in on the computer. So, okay. Get ready. Think we're ready, I'm at. Yeah. Yep. Uh, oh, maybe i got to enter this code. Okay. All right. No. This is a different one. Uh. All right, you guys there? Not yet. Matt? Carl? No one's here. Share the meeting. What? No one's here. Yeah, you said they did. Can you hear us now? There you are. Uh, yeah, it was a different number on the screen versus what was in the email. <laughs> Oh, okay. And are you, do you have the video up now as well? Yes, I can see the video currently. Okay. So this is, this is the machine. This is a 2508. Um, they're going to run some Coroplast for us. And then up on the back, I don't, I don't know if you can see up on the board there, what they're running is like a 45 or 55 inch flat screen TV. Okay. And that's their, um, that's their, um, like their queue, so you can oh, see that cool. now. So she's running it from back here, and I'm gonna let you, you know, we'll go ahead and let her get started. Um, but she's running it from back here on a keyboard and a mouse, and so she's controlling it up there on the screen. That's awesome. Go ahead. So we're gonna let it print here. We're printing on it looks like about a 24 by 24 inch chloroplast. This whole piece right here, this whole piece is the head. You'll see it moving. And what setting are you guys running it on? We are on what setting, Terry? 1200 Express. Okay. How many different settings does it have on it, like uh, print modes? How many print modes does it have? Like settings, like, okay. 600, 900, and 1200. Express and quality on both. Oh, okay. So six settings. That's cool. I mean, this is pretty darn quick. Yeah, it's really fast. <laughs> that is, uh, that's flying. Yeah, dang, that's uh, yeah, that's like kicking them out. Yeah, it's way faster than our uh, our little EFI. <laughs> yeah, I mean that, that's that's it. That's done. Spicy wow. butter, yum. <laughs> yeah. We'll bring you back. We'll bring you back some crab kings, right? <laughs> so, um, so she's got. There, it's got the vacuum on. So the vacuum's holding that media to this table. Okay. So I can't okay. move the media. I can't. The media doesn't move. It's. I mean, it's stuck. I'm trying to pull it up, and it's not coming up. So you've got the four different sections for the vacuum, and what she was saying is. If you turn off the vacuum to like the right hand, hand side of the table while you're using the left, it um, amplifies the vacuum on the left hand side, if that makes sense. Oh, okay, yeah. So if you really want it to be held down firm, you can right. turn off the other areas. Right, right. And we printed some other stuff too. We printed some metal signs. So these are like 18 by 24 metal signs. And, we'll, and Carl's bringing these back. Oh, okay. Oh, PVC. So this is a plastic right here. Um, so Carl's bringing all these signs back with us. So he'll have these. Um, so, reverse clean. so a reverse window clean. So they printed white on the back side. So when you do the window clean, now you can put it, it, it was basically clear and they printed the white. Oh, okay. So you can print, you can print the clear stickers and print a white behind it, and then print your CMYK. Print your CMYK first, then print the, the white on the back, 
and now you can put that up on a window. That's um, I mean, they've got this board of real estate signs. It's a four by eight sheet of Coroplast sitting there. Okay. Yeah, that's generally what we print on a lot of is a four by eight board, either the oh. die bond or we'll do a foam board or gator board yep. and then yep. Coroplast. I mean, she's got this cart right here. You see this cart? Yeah, and I need one of those four, carts. <laughs> yeah, I mean, look at this this four by eight sheet of, you know, core plast. It's just, it has that, you know, same, you know, all the way down. It's just, it's one four by eight sheet printed all, and, it, and if you look, it's edge to edge. Mm -hmm. so it's and the registration is pretty good, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, and she's printing, so you've got a four inch head height, right? So you've got a four inch head height. I don't know if I can get even uh, get under here. Let me think, hang on. So you've got a four inch head height right there. So you can print anything up to four inches. So all your promotional material and stuff, you can do, you know, golf balls, anything up to four inches you can print on here. So it's just creating a jig to hold that media that's cool. um and then how hard does it take that cover off okay okay so here's she's taking the cover off so there's all your lines um okay. there's all your controls for your colors your light fan white varnish turn them on and off right Oh, so it, it has a, I see, it has the, the extra channel oh. for light cyan, light magenta. Yep. And then there's a button down here you press, and it forces more air through it. Okay. What was that? So what she, what she was saying is these, these the white, see the buttons right here, this valve right here, like let's say the varnish right here? Uh-huh. So see how it's up and down? So if you want to turn it off, you would turn it 90 degrees this way. And then there's some a button underneath the machine here that forces more air in through it and it purges that out. Oh, okay. So there's actually, so there's actually a, see that? I see print close purge. And what's the maintenance like on this? Like, is it daily? Is it every eight hours? Is it, uh, you have to clean the head? Um, to have vacuum? So, what's the maintenance like, Bass, on this? Daily maintenance? Okay. So, you have daily maintenance to keep the white flushed, you know, just like the white and the varnish on, on all the machines, basically. Um, you want to keep those going through. And then you've got a monthly maintenance on the device as well. Okay. Does that entail like a more uh, thorough cleaning? How thorough of a cleaning is that monthly maintenance? It's not that bad. She has a checklist. What's your background in, in wide format? Yeah. So I got a big goose egg is her background. So she, she, she's a new user to wide format. And she's, op she, she's operating the machine fine. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, and I don't think I really, I mean, I know Carl and I, we, we talked about like the, uh, what, what tanks you could get or what colors you could get. Um, I didn't realize it had light cyan or light magenta. Is that configurable or does it come with it or? No, it's going to come with CMYK out of the box and light cyan, and light magenta. The white and the varnish are optional. I see. Okay. And, and. And there's an option, so you can add white and you can add white and varnish, okay, with the the head that comes with it. If you're going to do a lot of white and varnish, you can also add a second head that's just white and varnish to speed up the production. Okay, yeah, like on our on our EFI hybrid, we have two white uh, you, tanks. You hear him? You don't hear him? Oh. So he says on the EFI, he's got the dual, um, the dual the head. Dual white. Dual whites. Yeah. White. Carl doesn't remember if it's in the proposal. I'm going to back out here and give you an idea, just concept of how big this is. 
they built this room. So can you guys see the whole machine now? Yeah, yeah. uh huh. So they I mean, built it, this. It room. fits in there pretty well without like a lot of clearance on the other right. side. It looks like. Yeah, there's um, two feet to the back. Um, there's probably two feet to the back. Oh, here's. So, so there's there's that's where the ink goes. And she was just saying that you can fill the ink while the machine's running. Oh, that's cool. Because the 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 heads are moving. This part's not moving. It it moves. Yeah. Sorry, it moves front and back with the job as the job's going, but you can fill it while the machine's running. Oh, okay. But but you're right, uh, Matt. There's about two feet to the back right here. That's probably 24 inches. And there's probably at least five feet around the front, all the other sides. Okay. They built this room, they, they built this room specifically for this machine. Oh, you know, then, then there's, then there's in, keep in mind, they built it in three days. So that's awesome. I'm in a, I'm in a, uh, an 1800 square foot house. <laughs> This is in the back of the house. It was on. It was all exposed on Friday and enclosed by Monday and ready to go. Dang. Yeah, it was literally the parking lot. The customer saying, "So they've got this big work table here to work on, and I'm probably four feet from the front of the table to the uh, to here. Uh, so there's a four channel vacuum." So there's the vacuum. So chamber one, two, three, and four. And then there's a chart down here. Oh, and I see. Solar so solar. depending on what you turn off, that's when you get the uh, the higher pressure or higher exactly. vacuum in those areas. Yep. yep. So then that correlates to where at on the bed that you're using it. So I think that's similar to how our EFI is set up. So that's pretty cool. I, yeah. Yeah. Yep. And Crazy. What else do you want to see, Matt? Where you're back in here? Uh, yeah, I just mainly wanted to see how the the machine set up and the operation, and then I guess the board loading them. We'll so there's the software. I don't know if you can see the screen. So this is what the Flexi software is going to look like. Oh, okay. So yeah, it looks a little. It looks different than the like on the roll fed Muto stuff. Yeah, it's a little bit different. Um, or at least the version we have, I will say that. <laughs> right, maybe. Yeah. I was just probably old. <laughs> okay, yeah, so got your fire. Um, so, Terry, can we, can we undo this, flip it over, and just reprint that one time on the other side as well? Uh, no, I think just he just wants to watch you loading and unloading it. Yeah, because where does it register it at? Can you load anywhere on the table and it just reads the media, or do you have to load in a certain specific spot? And... No, so right here, there's a pin that came up. Oh, okay. So the pins came up. You see those? Yeah, uh-huh. Okay, so the pins came up, and then you'll kind of see she's got some overprint air, some lines right here, some where overprints been and stuff, so you'll see. But there is a, so there's a pin in the corner, but there's also a uh, ruler here on the bottom. I see. Okay. Okay. So there's a ruler all the way along. There's this metal um, piece that's folding like up right here. Like a stopper. Like a stopper, right. So I'm going to back up and let her load this material now so you'll see her loading it. So she put it up against that pin. You just vacuumed it down, and now the pins went down, and those guides went down. Okay. And then she's wiping it off with a, a uh, tossy for anti uh, for anti um, static. Okay. So just a typical to a tossy that you would use in your laundry mm -hmm. is what she she did. So let's go back up here. The max board so, size on this model is, is 48 four, by 96, right? Yeah, four by eight. Okay. Yep. Perfect. 
Oh, so let me try and get out of her way. Uh, can you guys see that? Yeah. yeah. I just see it on my, I see it like on a little thumbnail on my phone. So I don't know how it looks for you guys. <laughs> yeah, it's actually working out really well. So I appreciate you doing this. So doing the flexi is the same. Now, can we do like, um, do the same file, but like in, I don't know, what, what quality did we do last time? So can we do 1200 the other, the uh, better quality? Oh, okay. So there's your flexi. That looks like what you guys have right there. That's identical to what you have now. Hi, Matt. Yeah, so it looks like a little yeah. different uh, layout than us. Oh, okay. It should be most of the flexi's all still the same. Yeah, we just we have the windows configured differently, I think. Okay. But yeah, it looks like it's the same essentially. That one looks a little newer. So oh, yeah, it looks roughly the same. Okay. So then you have like on your options on the top, can you like the tab section? Yep, up there at the top. Okay. Yeah, so that's all the same. So now she's selecting 1200 quality. I'm probably blocking her. And then she's got the profile and then the resolution 605 by 1200. Uh, CMYK. Um, and then you'll see the proof over here, the, what it's going to look like. Oh, yeah, with the sizing and everything? Yep, yep. So here's, so actually she's going to rescale it because it was done at an 84, so she's rescaling it. And you'll see it's, the change will scale. And then she sent it. So it's so ripping right it's now. So like the uh, the role media where you pick your profile that's best suited for that media, and then you can choose what dithering and all Correct. that. Yep. So now I'm going to turn the camera around here. See how this works. Actually, it probably needs to be around the other side again. Okay. Okay. So she's going to add an extra layer of white. Uh, she's going to flood white on the back side of this underneath oh, the image. To make the color it. pop more? Pop, to make the color pop, correct. Yeah, we'll tend to do that when we run like any uh, dark boards, like black uh, gator boards or stuff like that. So you do use white? Yeah, we use the white. We don't use it alone right now just because we have a registration problem yeah, with both fun. heads. But um, okay. we'll tend to flood the background and uh, use that. But we haven't ever tried to print on clear media or anything like that. Well, now you can. Yeah, I mean, it It looks like it's, it's big. It definitely takes up some space, but I don't think, I feel like I expected it to look even larger than that, but. I'll be honest, I think I did too, you know, because when you just read specs on a sheet and it's all in meters, it looks like it's going to be like the size of a semi-truck, right? You know, yeah. in meters. But um, it's, it's, I mean, it's, it's bigger than, any of the OSA Arizona's I've seen, it's a pretty good sized machine, you know? Um, the problem is that like, you can see Carl across the way over there. <laughs> um, it, it's a good distance. And then the whole gantry piece moves. So all this orange, there's orange here and there's an orange piece on the far end by Carl. That's the left and right ends. That's the, the both ends of the head. 
you know, that move. So that whole piece is moving front to back. And then the head is on that ribbon going across. Okay. So, so this is, whole piece, this, right? This is the head. This whole piece is going to move right here that my finger's on. And you'll see it's lowering itself down from like the, uh, the back of the machine, but it's going to move left to right across that. Yeah, it actually works out better, I think, for spacing because of the way the table sits. Like right now on our hybrid, the way we have to, to feed our boards through, <clears throat> excuse me, we have to do it perpendicular rather than this would be parallel. So it actually saves you some space of loading because you just put it right, right on the table. So right now it's doing the white first. Okay. So you guys are able to see all that, right? Yeah, yeah. So is it it's going to do a full white layer, then print the color, or does it do it no, simultaneously? She, so it's doing a couple rows of white, she said, and then it's going to come back and do the color. Because there's two separate heads. Well, do you have two heads, or are you doing white and varnish in the same head? White and varnish. Okay, so they only have one head. If you had... You have two heads, Matt. I just got confirmed from Carl. Yeah, so, yeah. So, so now you'll start to see it's printing. So there's the printing starting. Mm -hmm. I know it's hard to see because it's so quick. And it's on quality. So this is uh, slower than the last time we printed, if you remember. And the other one, yeah. Yeah, so the other one with Express, I'm telling you, when you see it, I could sell Express all day long. Yeah, and that's what I'm thinking, like, for, for just from the video, it looked like it was fine quality. So. Oh, yeah. And compared to what we've been printing on ours and the speed savings, that would be a big factor. So now you can see, so what it's done is it's probably printed about an inch of white ahead of this. And now it's printing the color down on top of it. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Yeah, I'm timing it on my phone. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think the first time we printed it, it was less than a minute. Oh, yeah, that was super fast. First time we But that didn't have a white background either, did it? No, it didn't, no. And I'll tell so you, that, I think I can, I can tell the colors are different. Like the, the color looks much better with that white with underneath the white. it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, even the board being white, though, there's this word, the crab. So that crab king's boiled in the middle there. Hard to see, maybe. But it's white as well. And, yeah, it uh, pops more now because it's not just It a, really pops, a, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and I mean, we have a, quite a big stock of black gator boards, so we would definitely need white again like we have now. <laughs> oh, okay. What do you guys print on the black? Uh, right now, we'll just print full color stuff, or um, we did do some just single, just white only, um, like signage, just white text on it. But uh, okay. generally what we'll do is we'll run the white uh, background, like flood coat, and then we'll run the okay. color over it. So you, you'd be able to do the same thing. Okay, which is awesome. And we, yeah, we don't do any varnish on ours, and I don't think we would really want varnish. But I, I know I've seen like some Rollins that have the varnish feature. Um, this has it, um, and it's included. It's part of it. It's just you have to. We were just talking with with the operators here. You have to design. I mean, so you're already designing for white, which is fine, but. They're learning here how to design for white and create that color. You know, you have to call out that Pantone or whatever. Yeah, and you design spot it. color. And uh -huh. Design it for spot color, yeah. So that's what they're learning is how to design with that spot color. But, so the other thing while we were talking to Terry, Terry's the operator here. Say hi, Terry. <laughs> hi, Terry. So, <laughs> Terry. <laughs> um, so another thing is they're going to print like 50 point business cards. Oh, okay. So real thick. 
Yeah, I mean, you know, right now there there's no option for printing that, you know, other than sending that to a press. So what mm -hmm. she's gonna do is create a jig out of foam core or something. Like what you would do is you would print directly to that the board right here, print uh -huh. directly to it where the business cards are gonna be, and then you'd put another layer on top of it with the holes cut out, right? Or cut the holes out where the business card printed and then put that on top and then you'll print directly to business cards and you'll be able to print the 50 point business cards. That's cool. Um, I see she's got some other stuff over here too. She's got water bottles she's gonna start playing with, um, kids baseball. Um, have they, uh, do they have anything set up like that that they could show like now, like with a jig and stuff or no? They don't have a jig, no. You don't have a jig at all yet, no. How long have you had this? A month and a half. Oh, okay. But she's, they've never, they, she's, you know, she's never run this before. So actually, I think Carl and I are going to help her to explain jigs and how to create a jig while we're here. But, you know, she's printing to, she's printing on this carpet. She hasn't printed it yet, but hopefully we can get a sample when we leave. She's printing to this carpet. So it's like a, um, a floor mat, right? Yeah. Like you go to the uh -huh. store, you know, she's, so she's printing to that. Um, she's printing to the window cling. Yeah, we saw the window cling. And then, and, and then get this. So, you know, those foam mats, right? That you, I'm going to take you up front real quick. Oh, there's customers. So those foam mats, like you you know, the, you stand on in front of a machine, right? Like this? Yeah, uh-huh. Right? Yeah, we have some of those. She's printing on those, that directly. She's going to print to this uh, trifold display board that the schools use. She's going to print oh, okay. directly onto that. That's cool. So the students can bring their projects to you and have you print their project for them. So when this goes to measure like a higher media, it starts up higher and goes down lower. Is that what it? So the max yeah. height it'll do is four inches, or it'll yeah, yeah the max height is four inches. Oh, okay. So, Terry, the question was when you're if you're wanting to do like the water bottle or something, it starts up at four inches and comes down to the head height of the object you're doing it. And there's a sensor. There's a head. There's a sensor. Yep. So there's a sensor right here that's going to sense what height the, the object is at. I see. I mean, she's got mats over here. She's got tons of stuff she's going to play with, like koozies, um, the balls, the water bottles. So she's, she's, this is a, um, they've got a couple. Um, eco solvents. Okay. I'm going to print the mat real quick if you guys have time. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So, I want to see. Yeah, so that last so one, it looks like it took about seven minutes to run, which okay. isn't bad. Um, so you have, you have our logo, right? Okay. So what she's going to do is she's going to print our image source logo on this. This is a um, diamond plate design or a square design raised. Okay. So it's the, the it's got a little bit of a texture on it. Can you see that? Mm hmm Okay. Um, it's about half an inch thick or something. So she just laid it on there. She didn't put it in any special place. She just laid it on there. Oh, you did. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. There's registration. The right. oh, okay. Yep. So you see that? Like she laid it down to the line and then to the edge forwards. So this is going to just be our image source logo, and this is a uh, a cushion mat. You know, there's it's soft. Is the glare too bad for you guys right there? No, we can no. see it good. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. So what they did right there, they put that metal piece on there, the alum, uh, just a thin piece of aluminum. The reason they oh, did so that is because of the text, the texture of the mat. This gives it a uh, solid surface for it to measure to. 
Yeah, so it'll measure that height, but when it prints, it's going to be a little bit higher than the actual mat so that you don't have to worry about the head yep. running into it. Exactly. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, what color is that? Is that going to come out? Okay. And it's okay, so I don't know if you can see this. Go ahead. Go ahead, Matt. Oh, I was just going to ask if it registers the size or she's telling it what size the, the media is. You didn't tell what size the media is, right? It senses that when it goes through. I, I just wondered with okay. like the black, sometimes we've had issues with like the dark boards with the so REFI. He, he, no, so what he's doing is he's not worrying about the size of the media. He's sizing the file to fit the, um, he knows what size the media is. Okay. So what he's going to do is he's going to print a white mask, our logo, you know, the image source logo, right? Blue and green. He's going to print. So he had two files up there. The first one was black. If you saw it up there, that's going to be the white mask. So he's going to print a white mask first on the black behind our logo. To add a backer for it. Yes. Are you guys able to read the screen from here or no? Yeah, I can see it. Okay. Okay, cool. That's all right. This is, and this is the same flexi. Now you guys don't have your other machines up there on a separate flexi. Okay, so they're running a different computer that has the tabs for. They've got two eco solvents, I think. So if you look on the left hand side of that screen, that's our image source logo. This is going to be the white mask. Okay. And they just change. They're changing it to an express. So this is going to just be for just speed. They're changing the depth of the white to a three, it looks like. So you can adjust. Okay. All right. So Matt, they are so she's so we just said they are trying to figure out where the start point's gonna be. So he scaled the he's scaling our logo to be like twenty four inches, but they have to create the X and Y point as a start point. So you gotta measure in from the edge. Yep. Yep. And and so you gotta give it an X and a Y uh for a starting point. Does that make sense, Matt? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Not, not to be confused, I see Matt Rogers on here too. <laughs> yeah, two Matts don't make a right. <laughs> <laughs> there's three Matts on here actually, because there's one. Yeah, on they're the printing one, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Matt Rogers, what do you think of this so far? Man, it's impressive. It's a really, really nice box. I mean, the I stuff think if we, uh, if, I think if we're going to do this a lot, we need to invest in a gimbal or something, some way to stabilize the phone a little bit better. <laughs> is it is it kind of uh, jumpy? You know, when you're doing the printer, it's not noticeable, but when you're trying to focus on like the the monitor. Yeah. Then it gets a little shake. It, you know, it's just more noticeable because you're trying to read something versus just watch something. Yeah. So we've got a static GoPro sitting here next to it as well. Oh, nice. This is how he's detecting the head height. So it raised up, yeah, and then now it's coming back down. So can you, yeah, it'll sense that when that, where those red and black wires are, it's going to sense it and stop it. 
done. Yeah, Matt, I took a, a selfie stick and that's what I'm using for the video. Yeah, I saw that when Carl was videoing. I saw you selfieing around. Oh. Okay. <laughs> it was kind of cool when you guys had multiple angles where Carl had the printer and you had the monitor going. Oh, so you can see both? Yeah, yeah it, it, shows, was, uh, uh, it shows both in the bottom. I didn't like enlarge any of them. I've just been watching the main one. Oh, it was cool when... Oh, yeah. That's funny. The what? We could yeah, I could select gallery view and look at uh your your videoing and then uh Temecula. <laughs> oh yeah, the gallery view oh, is oh, like yeah. the, Brady, the Brady Bunch view where you get them all. Yeah. Higher than what you're It's what? So it's it prints one point five millimeters higher than what the object is that you're printing on. Oh, okay, and is that configurable? Is that default? Is that default, Bass? Yeah, it's that's the default. Okay. So now she did, so that core plastic we printed earlier, right? You'll see it, one of the corners was a little bent, okay? So she had to tape that corner down because during the setup of that job, it hit the uh, corner of that it's core plastic. Yeah. Yeah. So it, 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 I mean, it didn't hit the head. It's, it's, I mean, the head is buried inside of this, you but know, the sensor or the, like the, yeah, the, that yeah. same thing has happened with us on the EFI where we've had like a piece of foam board that's slightly warped or something like that. Right. We just, so she just taped that corner down. Okay. Okay. And what setting was this on? I think that. Hang on. Okay. So this is nine, this is uh, 800 Express or 600 Express? 1200 Express. Most of what you do, would you say it's 1200 Express? Yeah. That's their default pretty much is 1200 Express. Okay. So she's, he, he said what this is doing right now is this is going to cover the whole pad. I don't see anything going down. What is it doing? Oh. Because Okay. So what he did is he set the file up to be the whole size of the mat. And so it's not, it, it, so it's going back. I mean, you'll see the, it's, it's barely to the edge of the mat right now. Yeah, so it's starting back there, and then once it gets to the right spot, then it's going to lay down the... The ink, yep. And tell me if there's a vantage point that works best for you guys, and I'll set it up there. Yeah, I mean, that's working pretty good. Okay. Yeah, there it starts. So you can start seeing the logo now. Oh yeah, there it is. So I think this is personally pretty cool because I mean, and I'm talking to Matt Rogers, but we could print these up and, you know, take these out to print shops. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, yeah that's really cool. I think, I mean, I definitely could see uh, a lot of school sites and people wanting that or for, yeah. you know, um yeah all, all your schools could have their own logo on a doormat you know carl was mm -hmm. saying that brad's gonna want this for his house yeah, yeah that would add another thing for us to print and focus on yeah but you know i think carl would look at this as another revenue stream you know mm -hmm. that looks cool yeah no i'm i'm excited about that and honestly thinking about the when Carl and I talked about the building the jig so that we can print on other odd sized stuff or odd shaped stuff. Yeah, that looks nice. So that's just the white. Are you printing the color? You're going to print the color on top of that. Yeah. So the white's going down first. 
Then it's going to come back and do the PMYK over the top of that. So now you get to check the registration out, right, Matt? Mm-hmm. Because that was what you're saying the issue is with the EFI right now? Well, the whites are not registered. The two white heads on ours are a little off. So if you just okay. print white and it goes to print both, you could see that one is like, you know, like a millimeter or so off. But with just so cool one white head, you don't have to worry about that. It's going to print. You would just have to make sure the colors are lined up. So is it going to go that way and then print CMYK back this way or does it come all the way back? Okay. Like we did the flood on the first one. Okay. So he designed this as two separate files and that's oh, where okay. they're just getting, to, they're getting to learn this, you know? So he sent it over as the white file first. It's going to come back and completely reset to go do the CMYK. But now he's realizing too, that um, he could have done it like he did the Crab Kings. Where yeah, he where it built dropped the white, the white in the back. Yeah, yeah. He would have done a white flood ahead of the file. That's cool, though. That still looks nice with the white. I think it looks good just with the white. Oh, yeah. We would have requests oh, forever. <laughs> yeah, really I want floor math. Yeah. I want that. Yeah, because you have them at almost every classroom, every school, when it's fun. Yeah, that's pretty solid. Yeah, and then there's the waste. Yeah, so it's just right off the side. You'll see, you see that, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. So then do you have like purge functions on the machine or is that through the software? Because like on the, the EFI so, we have, we have a separate, you know, software for the machine and then the separate software obviously for the fiery. So what I see on the machine and I'll ask, so the, 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 their service tech and the guy that sold it, his name is Bass, he's also here. Um, but what appears to me is when I showed you that earlier, that those levers and controls on the front of the print head, uh -huh. right? You know, those ones right there, that's where the purge is at. Remember there was that dial on there. Uh huh. So if you're going to, oh, there's the color coming. Oh, wow. That's trippy. <laughs> Bill, is that registration as tight as it looks on film? Yeah, when we're done, I'll zoom in and I'll show you the registration. That's awesome. It, 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 yeah, especially since it wasn't done in one pass. Right. What What do you think? I mean, the reg, Matt's asking is the registration. Yeah, it looks. I mean, it looks pretty legit. It's a rough surface too. You'll see it when we bring it back. So. Yeah, that's pretty lined up. Yeah. Give it a second to focus, Bill. It's still uh, fuzzy. Oh. Right there? Uh, uh, that's, farther that's back. as good as we're going to get. Yeah, maybe further back. There you go. So what do you got, Bill? Like, like, a, like a half a mil? Oh gosh, it's not even. It doesn't even look like it's a registration. I, it's like a, it looks like a glow almost around it, you know? Yeah, like okay. an outer glow. Yeah. So, okay, so he's saying there's like a choke setting so you can control it. But I'll tell you, I mean, it's it's pretty darn good. Yeah. It looks nice. It looks cool, and it's on a floor mat, so. And it's on, and it's on a, yeah, you know, it's on a textured. I don't know if I can even get the texture, but you can see like those little checkerboards. Yeah. Those are ray. Those are all raised. So this checkerboard, where's my finger? I gotta figure. This part's <laughs> raised. <laughs> right. And, and then these have a texture on it, like a pebble texture. So.
And so this machine is about, it's what, like 15 and a half feet wide or something like that? Yeah, it's seven by 15 roughly. Seven feet by 15 feet. Yeah, We've got all the specs. I know, I know Carl's working on the, a floor plan where um, Carl and I have been working on the design of a floor plan for your shop. Yeah, with our door, our be... limited space. <laughs> so I was going to ask, well, Carl's going to come out and talk to you about the, the space. But what they did here, and Carl and I were talking, I'm sorry if I'm spinning too fast. <laughs> they put in a roll up garage door here. Okay. So they put in a roll up garage door and that's how they got it delivered here. And so it also makes it easier now when they're receiving media. So Carl and I were talking about in your other room where your EFI is at now on the end of the building. Yeah. Do you have room that, can you put a roll up door in that end of that building? Mm, I don't know. There's a, there's an electrical panel in one section. And then where the fence of the building ends, we'd have to look at that. Okay. So that's something okay. that Carl's going to come out and next week, I think, and talk to you about is um, space. So, mm -hmm. yeah, because it's, it's a beautiful machine. machine. Comes like one, one piece, or does yeah. it come in sections at well, all, or no? It, it, no, it's 3,700 pounds as you see it, one piece. Um, yeah, there's nothing, nothing to put. It's a three day install. Yeah. But it came as one piece, right? Everything. It comes on a pallet. So, what it does, it, I've got pictures. It comes on a pallet all in one piece. They break the pallet down, get the forklift out, take it off of the pallet, and then they, um, so she's taking the mat off now. That is so cool. Um, Okay. Took an hour to set it in place here. <laughs> Lights went out for Matt over there. <laughs> and it, and it, it, it took two I'm days. So it what it is, it rolls, it, it rolls in. There's wheels underneath here. Oh, and then it has legs once you set it to level it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you can see those. Yeah. So it's got wheels that rolled onto, and then the leveling legs come down. He said it took two days to come in here and get up and running. And then the ink so, is it's UV ink, right? It's a UV based yep. ink. Yep. So. And where's the waste uh, go at on the uh, on the back? So the waste is going into this little tank over here. And then Terry, the waste is going in this. Down below there, yeah. Yeah. Behind here. Okay. Going behind here. Carl's showing us some. AC. Yeah, Carl's showing you where the compressors are at. I don't Our know if you see that underneath. So you see underneath there? Yeah. And, and there's, the it'll tell you release. where the hole. Okay. Yep. So it has a separate compressor that it needs for it? Yep, there's a separate uh, 40 gallon compressor. So the compressor, they saw that. The compressor is what controls the vacuum, okay? So there's and two that things. Comes with the machine? Yes. Okay. So yeah, and they saw it. Harbor freight, Harbor freight compressor. But yeah, it's going to come with it. We're going to give it, we're going to include that. Um, so the vacuum, it helps with the vacuum, but it also helps when you hit the pressure to release your item off the table. Okay. Well, then she just re So here's the vacuum pumps. Oh, no, this is the air. Oh, the vacuum pumps are right there. Two big vacuum pumps under there. The blowers, I mean. The same, yeah. Okay. And then this is the pump here. This is the air. And then on the other side here, Carl's doing it too, I think. So 
So that's, and these are just under two panels on the back of the machine. Okay. So she's going to put a panel back now, you'll see. And is there like a monitoring uh, ink level software or like does the machine have any sort of, you know? Yes. Yeah, so there's, um, I think, is this the ink levels right here? So on the screen right here is your ink levels. And that's in the same, the... This is all part of the... So this looks like, it, yeah, so this is like the, there is the 25 way controller. So it's separate from Flexi. Yeah, okay, it's, that's uh, what I was looking it, at, yeah. Yeah, so it's a separate um, controller from Flexi. So Flexi is where you were sending your jobs, but this is the controller for the 2508. So this okay. is just for the 2508. You'll see it's called the 2508 software up there, controller. At the very, very top in the, the those letters. Uh -huh. So you can see you can see jobs that they've done already, like the toe sign and all that kind of stuff. So these are the jobs, and then they would send it to Flexi, and Flexi is what rips it to the machine. Does it have a like a ink estimate if you click on a job? Can you estimate the ink cost on a job? In Flexi, you can just like you could before. Oh, okay. So in Flexi, you still, you still have that capability of Flexi. You just rip the job, and it'll estimate that. And then you use it from cost. there. Yep. And then do you have like an idea of what the ink runs for? Yeah, for? we've got all those costs. I mean, I, so there's the ink. Well, yes, yeah, so it's like the same bottles as the EFI. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. That's the cleaner, but that's also, I shut it. Sorry. Let me turn it. There it goes. It's a thousand milliliter. We can get all the costs. I mean, you can. Okay. I mean, you, you you can you can search them probably quicker than we can get it to you. <laughs> so they're saying the adhesion of the ink is better too than a lot of other stuff out there. I just got a low battery warning on my phone, so I don't know how much more we have here. Oh yeah, what about the coolant? It is. So it's just regular coolant. So I I hit the uh, there's these emergency switches. Okay. On the, yeah, front, stop it. on the front, yeah, on the front and the back, and oh, actually, I think it's every corner. So there's one there, and one here. So all four corners, front and rear, all have one. And my big belly hit it. <laughs> I, well, my belly doesn't hang that well. My leg hit it when I leaned in to get a picture, so I accidentally turned off the machine. So they recharged. <laughs> but I think, I mean, anything else you want to see, Matt? No, I mean, I think that's pretty good. Um, yeah, the main thing was the operation, and uh, yeah, and if you have, you guys are gonna have samples, so that's good. Um, yeah, we've got we've got plenty of samples. Um, yeah, plenty of samples. So this is the ink, actually. Oh, Matt, Evan, or Carl's got it there. So it's yeah, that's like no the same style tubes and everything. Yeah. Yep. Yep. It's like it's like the bags, but in a bottle. So, did you guys print these boxes? So, they're printing on a cardboard box for packaging. Oh, that's cool. On the part that's unfolded, right? You know, so there's the box. And when you fold it up, you get that all the way around. That's really cool. Yeah. Um, she, pr she printed that on PVC. And then she laminated it. She did this. This is just 50 point like paper. I mean, it's just, awesome. it's just literally, it's just a paper. I mean, it's, 
you know? Yeah, we could buy, like, I'm, full seats of the, like, the eighth-inch uh, yeah. foam board, yeah. And this is a foam core, you know? So, I mean, it's really, it, it's, it's endless what you can do. She printed a paper. She, okay, so she printed a paper paper. So basically the, the vacuum is going to hold whatever material you want on there. That's cool. So we good? Yeah. Anything that's else? That's awesome. I think that's uh, yeah. got the gist. Thank you, guys. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, Bill. Well, yeah, when we get back, Carl will come up then and he'll bring all these samples up and let you see them firsthand. And um, I, I think it's really nice. I think you'll be happy with it. Yeah, it's cool. I'm glad I got to see it. I appreciate you guys taking the time to do this. Yeah, not I a problem. A, I, got, I got a real quick question before Bill's battery runs out. Okay. This one's directed at Carl. If you, if you had this to oh, hang, on, hang, on, your hang, on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hold on. Be there. Uh, yeah. Hang on. <laughs> oh, there oh, you go. Mic on. Oh, there we go. So, Carl, if you had this today in your print shop, what would you use it for? Um, the just these display boards. I I didn't never even thought of this. So printing, you know, I mean, so they're doing this this display board, I believe, for the police department. So for the police department. Mm. Um, so, you know, I mean, these are huge in the science projects. Um, I could see these, you know, displays in classrooms. Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, 85 bucks for one of these guys, commercial. Nice. That's, yeah, that's, that's yeah. incredible. Right. Yeah, those are extra. So just the board, 85 bucks for that. Uh, Elmer's trifold board. I would, I would, I mean, this is like, this, this throws the hybrid right out of the market. I mean, the complications with hybrid and the challenges and, you know, I mean, four by eight sheet and the quality is incredible. Yeah. And like, if we wanted to, we could totally cut a, a strip of banner the right size and put it on the table, I'm sure, with the vacuum hmm. and try and test it. I mean, I don't know if that would that, work, but I I don't see why it wouldn't. What could you um, could you cut a piece of like 13 ounce vinyl and lay it across and just print? Yeah, they're saying yeah. So if you were in a so pinch, you have, needed to. Yeah. Yeah. You can also print color white color. Oh, if you're doing backlit, yeah. Right. Right. So what's that there? Carl, we're not getting any of that. Yeah. Can you describe the Bible that you're looking at? Oh, this this is Texas spring water right there. Uh -huh. Yeah, so so he's talking about doing if you're doing backlit film or even what what I didn't even think about and I always forget is is doing the static cling, uh, which I think he showed you earlier. Well, see, so but but dealing with just reverse print. So you, you print it in reverse, reverse, you flip print. it, right? And it's only going to be quick lit. This is what it looks like white material is okay and if i want to do backlit if i push enough light through it what can happen is i want to make sure that this uh shadow detail it doesn't wash out the way i do that is i print reverse print color white and then color on the back side same image when i push that extra light through i still have a beautiful image backlit or if i'm lighting if i'm just looking at the front without light it doesn't yeah, no, it's it's just all these ideas, you know. I mean, it's just uh, it's it's amazing. I didn't get all that. Can you can you restate that, Carl? Oh. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, 
hold hold on a second. Can we go? So it, it's just it's a lot of information. Um, explain that again. Uh, an example. So this is clear. Uh, no, this is clear work. material. So it's it's clear so material. Clear material, but we've laid white down in the back. But they laid white in the so on the back side. So reverse printed the the image. The image. And, laid white down. and then so laid white down. If I look at this from the front, it's fine. You have the white is taking care of the highlight detail. The white's taking care of the highlight, the highlight detail. detail. Your lighter areas. The image. Right. If I want to backlight this. If you're gonna if you're gonna backlight it. If I put a lot of white light behind it, it might not hold the density. You know, it looks a little thin. So what I do is I take this exact image and I print it on the back side. Now, uh, so so looks, printing printing the exact image on the back side, and then right, it just holds the light from coming through. Holds the light from coming through. Just hmm. gives you more density in the ink. More, the yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, more density in the ink. So it just, That's I guess, it just depends on it's on what you're, you what view. effect you're trying to get. It's a way that you can view front look, highlight and shadow detail. And Frontlit with good shadow and detail and backlit with just all in the order of how you lay down the ink. And that's all just a click of the mouse, which is really cool. So I'm impressed. I'm more impressed than what I've seen in all the videos. It's, uh, yeah, no, this is helpful. Sure. It's cool. So any other questions, Matt? No, I think that's good. You want to? You want to what? The Bible. Oh, the Bible. So, oh, here. You want to go back? Yeah, it looks metallic. What's? <laughs> oh God, is Kendall with you, Matt? Yeah, he is. Oh my gosh, you're, you're gonna have Kendall's face on Bibles running around Moval. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> this this, this, is awesome. this, this, one. <laughs> this customer came in and said, "Hey, we don't want the gold logo on a Bible. We want our color logo on the Bible." So they printed the, their logo on the Bible. It's going to be this white logo. Oh, I and see. And what you've explained is, is the ghosting. So this is like, I mean, you know, this is, they're going to do 200 of these books, Bibles. You and know? those are what, like two inches thick or an inch and a half or something like that? No, an inch thick, inch and a half, maybe. Yeah. Inch and a half. So they're going to do 200 of these. And um, the ghosting that we got maybe on the mat is, the doormat we printed with a ghosting is depending on the head height. So the closer you can get the head height to the object that you're printing on, the less ghosting or overspray yeah, maybe that you have. Yeah, it's not spraying farther away. Correct. Kinda. So now look at this. This is a yoga mat. This is just oh, a yoga cool. mat that they printed on. So she just played with this. She was so the the color is not real bright because they didn't put a white down here behind the live and let live yoga. But had they done that, it would have been bright and pop. But this is just a yoga mat. That's awesome. So really, I mean, I think it's just it's limitless of what you can really do. I mean, you know, you can you can pull pieces off of like the machines and print directly to parts of machines. I mean, anything four inches higher or less. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I'm gonna start looking into uh, ideas of building like a frame jig to put stuff in. <laughs> yeah, and that's what you have to do. I mean, the, the, you only need the jig though it, for promotional items. Yeah, which you I know, think so would like be if, huge for us. Yeah, so like this water bottle, I'm gonna go grab the water bottle or something, but like, you know, so there's this water, uh, I'm 10% now. So there's this water bottle, right? So the water bottle will fit under here right so that's where you would need the jig is that has to hold this so you can print on it yeah and you just set your template up so you have your sizing correct and huh for what oh for golf balls oh, nice. uh, you, yeah so if you want to print golf balls you could probably use that as a jig an egg crate an egg crate yeah i don't think it'll and then it put a uh, put like a flat piece on it like you did with the mat to get the height. Yep. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So the there's. Logo approved? So that would probably work with the golf balls as long as it's not, or I mean the baseballs as long as they're not too tall. Mm. 
Did yeah, you got it approved? Yeah. Oh, dang. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, the sign directly. All right, I'm down to 10%, guys. All right. Yeah, I think Matt, that's good. Matt, did your okay. new logo get approved? What was that? Did your new logo get approved? You know, I'm still waiting. Uh, All right. It's a slow go. Because <laughs> that logo would look real nice on some of these things we're looking at. We did. Here. Yeah. Yeah, I can't wait. <laughs> I want to put it on everything. <laughs> Eventually. But yeah, this is cool. I uh, I definitely, uh, I like what I see. So here's what she's using for, it's like a roll around uh, stand. And this is what she's doing for her keyboard and her mouse, right? I like okay. that. That's cool. So, so this is on wheels and so the, you know it's all it's all wireless right so she just rolls this around to the computer when or the when she needs to plug it in hardware it just rolls yeah and then with the monitor up there you don't have yeah. to be right next so, to the so this is where like when i'm standing here this is where i'm running the machine from right you know so we can get a, like a 70 inch uh tv thrown in on there <laughs> Oh gosh, Kendall! You know, Kendall, Kendall, what can you make happen there? <laughs> Matt wants a 70-inch TV. You could come watch sports when we're not yeah. printing. <laughs> so, but yeah, so this is what she sees. So her monitor is up there on the wall, and so she needs to stand here and see them. It's a, it's Carl. Yeah. Carl said he wants to know if Kendall's got the lease stocks there right now. We get that done if we can get the TV put in. <laughs> Joanne, my boss, might have something to say about it. But, uh... <laughs> yeah, this is cool. I, li I, I okay. like it a lot. Good. All right. Yeah. Well, I appreciate you guys. Awesome. Yeah. Right. Thank you, guys. I guess yep. we'll talk right. to you soon then. Yeah, we'll touch base with you when we get back. Okay, perfect. See you guys. All right. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Right,